All right, guys, so we have a beautiful modular here. It's called the Atlantic. It's three bedrooms, two bath, and we'll go inside in just a second. Uh, but this is a beautiful home on our Greenville location, uh, and we want to show you how pretty this home is. I love the two dormers. We have a 712 roof pitch. And sorry, it's being a little shaky. I forgot my gimbal today. <laughs> so we do have um, the... Uh, olive siding on the end here. They kind of blend in with the rest of the home. We do have um, the back here. Like I said, three bedroom, two bath. It is a beautiful home. All right, let's go take a look inside. So back at the front, guys, we do have a beautiful inset porch here. Um, I love how much space is on this porch. You have enough space to put two or three uh, rocking chairs and tons and tons of space. We love the uh, the single, uh, the cedar, cedar siding. Ooh, I can't say that. Cedar siding <laughs> on this inset here. Let's go take a look inside. So as you see, as soon as you walk in, you have this beautiful uh, great room with a built-in fireplace gray walls and we did vinyl floors throughout and we did put a beautiful ceiling fan in there as well and let's go close this door so we can hear all right this is just kind of a look as soon as you walk in you have your dining room here to the right and you do have a beautiful closet there as well Perfect for hanging your coats and everything like that. All right, so let's go take a look at the kitchen. All right, guys, so look at this beautiful kitchen. You have a nice center island. You have cabinets, uh, tons and tons of cabinet space, and you do have this full bar here. I really like that. Now, let's take a look. You do have Whirlpool appliances. You have a built-in microwave here. You have a beautiful window over the sink. And these are hardwood cabinets. So sorry, excuse me for my voice. I am a little allergy today. So really nice high cabinets. You've got nine foot ceilings in this house. We're super excited about that. Um, we do have a nice exit door here. You have space for a freezer here. Let me zoom that out a little bit. And then you do have your laundry room here with cabinets right above where your washer and dryer will go. And then you do have, I think this is a furnace. Yep, so you have your furnace inside there as well. All right, so this is the view looking into the great room from the uh, uh, kitchen. You do have space right here to put bar stools and you have space right here to put a full table right about there so it's beautiful beautiful home and i want to show you this pantry too look at this fancy light writing right there pantry <laughs> so we do have quite a good size uh pantry it's not a full walk-in pantry but you can walk in there if you want to so let's go take a look at the other side of the house and then we'll save the master for last so if we're coming over here you can see how huge this great room is you put a massive tv right above there oh let's figure, let's show you that real quick so this is a built-in electronic fireplace and you do have plugs underneath there for your boxes your xbox cable box whatever you need to put underneath there and it's actually a uh, connection here that you can kind of drop a cord down and see so we do have uh, plugs up there and we do have this beautiful fan that is controlled by a light switch somewhere that I cannot find right here <laughs> is right here so you kind of control everything um, by the switch which is really nice so let's go take a look at these bedrooms so checking out these bathroom right here off of the main living area we do have a nice square porcelain sink here and we have the glass tile backsplash and here we do have a one piece fiberglass tub that really, really nice. 
a good size room for your toilet. And in here we have a huge linen closet, extra storage space, whatever you want to call it. Excuse me, I had the flashlight on because it is dark in here. Uh, so you have a lot of storage space and it comes with a light in there as well. So let's go take a look at some of these, uh, or the other two bedrooms. Now I just wanted you to see how massive that room is. It is huge. You could easily fit a queen bed in here with chest of drawers, a couch, chair, whatever you need for your family, your kids, or you get a mother-in-law, whatever. You do have nine foot ceilings in here and you do have attic access in this house. So I thought that was pretty cool. It actually is in a closet. So you do have a uh, closet space here and your water heater is there, but you do have attic access. So let's go take a look up here. And excuse my heavy breathing. My fat tails are trying to... Uh... So you do have attic access. So you've got plenty of storage up here. It kind of goes behind me too. Plenty of storage uh, up in this house. So let me get back down here. <laughs> Sorry guys. Probably shouldn't feel me getting down. Oh, Lord, it's hot. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at this third bedroom. So, third bedroom here, we have the nice dual windows, and we do have the nine foot ceiling carried throughout. So, it just feels so much bigger. And this one does have a walk in closet, it has a lot of construction material in it right now, but it still does have a walk in closet. So, I really like this into the house. Let's go take a look at the master. All right, so now we're gonna walk into the master wing of this house. And yes, I do mean wing. Uh, this side of the home has three closets. Uh, his, hers, and whatever's left over. <laughs> Nine foot ceilings all the way through. We have that beautiful ceiling fan, and we have a ton of space in this master bedroom. Of course, a really nice four poster king size bed. It is beautiful. So let's go take a look at her closet, what I would call her closet, because it's the largest. So take a look in here, guys. We have a ton of storage space. You have your space for your everything, shoes, closet. You can add more rock, racks on that wall. There's tons of space in there, guys. So let's go take a look at his closet or her closet, whatever you want it to be. So a little bit smaller, but still a walk-in closet. If you walk in, so you do have quite a bit of space in here. You have enough space for your shoes, work boots, whatever you need uh, to get the day started. So let's go take a look at this bathroom. All right, so this bathroom is absolutely gorgeous. We have two porcelain sinks here, two square porcelain sinks, and those mirrors actually light up. And I really, really like that about this house. So this is a beautiful tile shower with the Amazon rain head, and you actually have a barn door shower door. It's all glass, it's totally see-through, but you can slide it to get in, and you have these beautiful tile, these little uh, shower caddies that are built in that are really, really nice. And you turn the uh, shower on, and then you do have the Amazon rain head with this beautiful uh, marble tile. I love that. So you do have also a separated commode room in here. And that is really nice as well. And then here is the third closet. This is more so like a linen closet, but to have a linen closet this big really might as well be a third closet. <laughs> it is really, really nice. So that is the uh, chore of this master bathroom. Let's meet back in the kitchen to do some final details. All right, guys. So as you saw, it's a three bedroom, two bath house. We do have uh, quite a bit of space in here. I think this house is about 2000 square feet or about 1800 square feet maybe. Uh, and it is absolutely perfect. Uh, modular home. It is a uh, Champion Atlantic uh, modular, and we love selling these homes as they are. They make a really, really good product. So what I wanted to tell you guys is, it's a three bedroom, two bath, 
And it also is starting price, home only, no improvements whatsoever, no land, no uh, land improvements, no house improvements, nothing. But we are starting this house probably in the upper 150s. Uh, and, and, you know, prices can change. We are going through a lot of different uh, factories that are changing prices constantly right now just due to lumber prices. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping around. Prices could have changed by the time you get to our lot. But make sure you give us a big like, hit that subscribe button, and, um, you know, leave a comment down below. We really appreciate it. It really helps on our channel. And we really uh, would like to see you again on the next video. So we really appreciate it. And we we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks.